Today's episode is going to go into more details on body language, what sort of body language you should have when you are giving a speech, a presentation. If I had to boil it down to one word, here it is. Move. You need to move when you're speaking. Why? Because all human beings, when they talk, especially if they talk about something they're interested in and have a passion for, they move. So if you're giving a speech and you're trying to look professional and you're standing behind the lectern and grabbing the lectern and looking at your notes carefully, you're freezing everything other than your mouth. That becomes incredibly boring. It can make you sound and even look robotic. When you look at the best speakers of the world, whoever you love, I don't care if it was Ronald Reagan, Bill Clinton, Tony Robbins, any of the most wonderful TED talkers out there, watch any of them with the volume off and you will see a tremendous amount of movement. I don't mean running back and forth pacing awkwardly. I don't mean a lot of jerky movements, but I do mean movement. The hands move, the face moves, the body moves. Some are more dramatic than others. Zig Ziglar used to do this thing where he sort of reenacted proposing to his wife and he got down on bended knee. You don't have to be that theatrical. But all of us, when we talk, occasionally reach up, maybe on our tiptoes, sometimes bend over, lean in. Our bodies move. Now, the only problem with some movement is if you're fidgeting, if you're playing with a ring finger, if you're picking your fingers, if you're doing anything that seems like an obvious nervous movement, if you're pacing in a rhythmic way back and forth like a grandfather clock, that looks bad. When you do move, you periodically want to stop. Stop to pause. Stop when you've finished a point and you want it to sink in. Move in a way that doesn't seem planned and rhythmic. Move with variety. Do that and you'll come across as relaxed, comfortable, and confident. That's going to make it easier for people to actually focus on what you want to say. Remember, your goal is not to have people come up to you afterwards and say, great movement on stage today. That's not the goal. The goal is for people to feel so comfortable with you and that you are so comfortable that they could focus and really remember your ideas.